Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are back with the next episode of the survival series here in Stormwax version one. Now in the last episode, we finished off by building this container loader. So this was the self-loading container loader that actually went and pushed out and picked up containers and meant we could transport them using a train. So we've built this carriage. Of course, there is some more things. I want to still add some more detailing to it. I want to make it look a little bit cooler. Um, just some detailing, that's pretty much about it. But in terms of functionality, this is working. So in this episode, I want to start by actually building the train locomotive that we're going to be using the engine to actually be pulling these along in the world of Stormworks. Now I've kind of got an idea of what I want. So we're gonna go straight into the workbench and we're gonna start building. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna get symmetry mode on. So I'm gonna get symmetry mode on. I'm gonna get just a nice long piece here and we're gonna get a train wheel set to start with. And we're gonna stick that down probably about here. Let's get this on. Okay, that seems about fine. And then we're going to start building from there. Okay, so I use this as my base to start with. We're going to build out like that. And I'm also going to be building down like so. Uh, we can build forwards. I don't want to go too much, so probably about that much. Uh, and from there, we can start building the front of the actual train. So I was thinking of doing maybe something like that. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Maybe another one down like so, and then we can grab, let's grab some wedge pieces. I'm gonna go with inverse permits. Let's try something like that. Yeah, that should be all right. Uh, we're gonna get, let's see, two of those. So one, something like that maybe. Yes, I'm doing a little bit of a slope up. And then what I want to do is from that, I wanna then go and do like a nice slope up. So think of like wedges like that. Uh, so maybe, yeah, so you can kind of get the idea so far. I am going to grab these and let's go up like that and let's go up like that. I think I might need to drop the train down and drop it down like that. So theoretically it's on the train tracks. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Let's go and fill this in like so. Okay, so you can kind of get the idea. Let's go and fill some of this in. Okay, so you can you kind of start to see what it's going to look like in the front. Um, we need to go and slope the top part back. So I was thinking maybe uh, why we could use maybe use a permit one by two permit. Yeah, let's use a one by two permit. So let's put that in there like so. Grab that and rotate it along like that and then we can go and put some wedges across there and maybe some wedges across like that could do something yeah it i feel like this needs to be higher over here so let's get rid of all that for now and let's go to just a single wedge like so uh, and then here we can go into something like that maybe this piece we could drop into a two by two inverse permit. So something like that. And then we can grab this and do something like that. So you can kind of start to see what the front of this train is going to look like. Uh, quite different from what I usually do. So yeah, something in terms of that, we're obviously going to get another wheel on uh, the other side. We can start maybe filling in some of this. So if we filled that in, take that bring it all there maybe go there i feel like this is just one too high i feel like i need to drop down by one so i'm actually going to go do that now grab this again and we're going to fill this in eventually we're going to have something over here we could even try and do something that goes there but yeah, you can kind of start to see the design. I don't know if it's too wide, but I don't think it is because it just covers the side of the wheels there. Cool, let's carry on building it. So we're gonna go from here, we're gonna go up, across. Let's get a wedge piece. Let's go like that. And I think we can close it in. I don't know if we should go one higher over here. We could always do something like that and make it a little bit more slope to the top, but I think, I think that's fine. Let's leave it let's leave it like that for now we can always bring it up if we want to um over here what i was thinking is 
like scoop here in the front so you can imagine that if there is anything on the tracks it's gonna go and uh, move it out of the way of course that doesn't really happen here in Stormworks but uh, you guys get the idea that I'm going for maybe we could do something over here let's see something like that that could work and we could maybe do that and then over here we could go and just fill this in grab that grab another one by two wedge and put that in there cool i think that doesn't look too bad i think it looks pretty decent actually uh so we're going to go with that and obviously we're going to have the underside of the train too this is going to be the inside we're going to get this all filled in it's going to look will look pretty cool eventually uh lengthwise yeah, but probably good on the length. I'll probably maybe go out by about that much. And then what we're going to do is we're literally just going to double this and put another piece over there. Uh, we're going to make it a relatively long engine. Cool. Uh, in the front here, what I was thinking is maybe doing some lights there. So having some lights built in. I don't know what type of lights we could go for. I'm just going to fill this in. Delete that. Fill that in. Put that in there. Put that there. Uh, we could go with some regular spots, but that way we couldn't close it. Something like that. You guys kind of get the idea of what that's going to look like. Or what we could do also is maybe do one there, one there, and fill that in like so. That's another way. I think that actually looks pretty cool. Uh, we could always put like glass pieces over this to make it look even better. Uh, and then inside here, I'm literally just going to go and paint all of that a nice dark gray. I've got symmetry mode on still, so that's good. Um, color wise for the train, I'm not too sure what color I'm going to go for. But I am thinking of doing like a gray along, maybe gray like, yeah, that should be fine. A gray along here, maybe a lighter gray than that. Maybe something like that and across there. Uh, this is all eventually going to get painted too. This can get painted. I don't know what I'm going to do with this front section. Uh, this we're going to obviously get rid of at some point. This can be black for now. Let's go and paint all this black. So that's this part here. I'm kind of thinking of doing something a little bit different. So maybe doing wedge blocks that go something like that. I think that would look pretty cool obviously this is maybe going to be a darker color inside here so maybe we can go with dark gray there and a dark gray in here possibly i might change that around that's the idea i've got going so far we could also do in terms of color for the whole train maybe go with a reddish color um let's see let's do a replace color that's a little bit too could do that something something like that you guys kind of get the idea that i'm going for i think um and then in the front here i'm also thinking of doing some type of like shock absorber that we would have there so it would literally absorb anything that we knock into uh, but what i want to do next is i think we're going to go and take this whole train and obviously double it up so that we get the other side of the train I do want to get another i want to get a window in here i can't do one there so maybe over there yeah that should be fine i'm actually going to change this back to white for now just so it's easier to build with because obviously when you're building black is quite hard to see so we're just going to go and paint all of this white make it a little bit easier to put work with uh we can get some windows maybe a window in here so we could go with just a two by two window which could work quite well uh, and then we can also put a door in maybe a door over here yeah could do a door over there maybe that should work uh let's go and spawn this in i want to see what this is going to look like yeah you can imagine that that doesn't look too bad i don't think once we're inside it if i can get inside here this will be elevated a bit and then you would have your driving seat over here you can see how quite nicely we have a little window not the biggest window but i think that will be fine um yeah not too bad let's go and do 
some type of like shock absorbers or something here in the front. So we could use, let me see, we could use some piston, piston suspensions over here. So actually, yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's joined together, that's joined together. That's perfect. Uh, and then over here, we could do maybe like a microprocessor or something. Something that's not gonna cost us a lot of money, but will look half decent. Uh, so I usually have some spare microprocessors that I use for detailing. So that one's a little bit too big. So I'll just probably edit it to make it a two by two. So something like that. Grab it, go with black, why not? And rotate it. See, I'd like to have it in the middle there. Cause that looks weird, I think. Having it so big like that. Um, so maybe just a one by two microprocessor. Something like that. Um, cool, let's go and spawn that in. Let's see what that's gonna look like. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. That will obviously absorb some type of shock. Uh, we're gonna paint, of course, we'll paint all that up. Uh, I'm not too sure about this here. I kind of feel like this is maybe a little bit too extreme, that big wedge. Maybe if we were to do something like that, that could work, I think. Uh, what happened to this wedge? Let's put that back and let's get symmetry mode on. There we go. Paint that, if I can get this gray. Cool. And this could be white too. Yeah, that could work. I can grab that color. Cool. Uh, so that's the idea so far. There's going to be a window in here. Of course, I'm going to have to edit a window to get it in there and make it look for half decent. I'm kind of thinking this window is a little bit too small now, this little one by two. I feel like maybe we need to go a little bit bigger, maybe something like that. I don't know. Maybe that looks too big now. Hmm. Not too sure. We can play around with it. Let's get some doors in. So we could use this as standard doors or we could build our own door if we wanted to. Uh, let's see. We could go with a hinge door. Go with this hinge door, which has got the thing on it. Uh, I think I'm probably going to go with a custom door. Just don't like the hinge, the, you know, the big wheel on that to open and close it. Um, we could also just use a regular old fashioned door if they still exist. Yeah, they do. Uh, just like a sliding door. Sliding doors aren't. Oh, I guess we could. Yeah, we could use a sliding door. Uh, let's just use the regular one, the one that doesn't, the one that doesn't have any electricity. Yeah, that one. Uh, the only problem with it is you can't paint it. So like that bottom piece there, we can't paint. Uh, but that should be okay. Let's go back to white. So we could do something like that. Maybe push it back by one. There we go. Uh, let's fill this in and fill this in. So you can see the door. Do I really want to push it back that far? Probably, probably I'm going to go one closer. So like what we, <laughs> what we had it before. Um, okay. can just put that there and let's go one there. Grab the door again. We're going to have doors on either side and we're going to rotate that in. Cool. Uh, and then inside here, we're going to have another set of doors that can go to the back. So we're going to have some, in, some uh, diesel engines in here. I'm going to make this a diesel a diesel powered engine, I think. So we're going to go grab one of these doors again, and we're going to go and maybe have a corridor along the side there. Cause that would then give us enough space for our diesel engines going along there. Cool. Uh, let's go and fill this in. So this will be the floor of the locomotive and this will fix later on. We can obviously just cover that all in for now. We'll make some type of nice design in here, I think for, all of this I'll come up with some type of cool design can i grab maybe inverse pyramids over here something like that that's the wrong way around can i delete this yes i can maybe something like that and then we could grab that put it over there and put that over there so it's got a little bit of a slope inside the inside here cool so far so good i think uh, let's go into the back here. So we're going to have a floor that goes all the way along. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to split it in half again, and I'm going to just copy this front part again, pretty much. 
um, because obviously I'm doing all this work here in the front and I don't want to redo all of it. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. So just a little tip there. If you want to speed up things, you can just copy and paste uh, when you're building. So I think the lights look pretty cool like that. Uh, we obviously need to get a connector. Now, I think if I'm correct, we can just get... I think this is the same height as the other ones that we've used before. And we can simply just get an electric connector over there. That should be at the right. Ah, oh, now you need to lower it by one. Okay. Delete that, put it over there, grab that, put it over there, delete that, and put that over there. Cool. So that should be at the right height now for that. Uh, we can even test it by pushing this locomotive out. Yep, that's more or less the right height. I'm going to have the same type of um, suspension pieces, I think, on this so that you can see that they will theoretically bounce together and those two electric connectors will go and get connected. Well, they should at least. You can also put some type of limiter there so it limits how much this can actually bend. Um, just by, but you literally can do that by putting some, some blocks in here, some like wedge blocks. Because uh, that could be an option, or we could just put it on a on a pivot like this. Because these pivots can turn when they don't have power, so that's another option. Um, but yeah, it's I think it's looking pretty cool so far. Definitely got like a type of DB design to it. Cool. Let's go and move on and carry on with I think maybe the undercarriage next. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to work on the underside of this actual engine. Now, this train is going to be a diesel electric. So I was thinking inside of here, we're going to have some diesel engines going across here and they're going to be recharging some batteries. Uh, and then underneath here is where we're going to actually have the electrical engines that are going to be running this train. Uh, they're going to be underneath here. We're going to have some gearboxes and things. Uh, by the way, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build on one side and then I'm going to duplicate it to the other side. Um, so I'm not going to put any engines or anything just yet, I don't think, underneath here. Uh, and the same goes for inside. I'm just going to get kind of like the detailing done. Uh, I'm going to start by actually doing everything in pink just because I can see what's going on. So we're going to go down, 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 and maybe one more down. Let's see how far actually no one up from that. Okay. So you can see it's going to go there and we're going to go all the way back like so. Now to add some detailing on here, we could do different things. We could use door frames. Door frames are, you know, a really cool thing for detailing. Uh, they cost ooh, 100 each. Okay, that's quite expensive. Uh, what about this? Okay, so we're going to use linear track bases then. So to do that, you can just simply do that and decide how much you want to go by. And we're going to go to that, that maybe, and we'll just replicate that all the way across. Uh, we could even put some underneath, but you can kind of get the idea of what that's going to look like. I think it'll look pretty cool. Uh, we can obviously close all that in, close pretty much all that in. And that's where we're going to have our gearboxes and batteries and a few other things inside here, I think, uh, which will look pretty decent. What else is there to do? Uh, we can carry on, I guess, inside the main compartment here where you would drive the train. Let's carry on building the control center, I think. So we're going to have like a little bit of a table here. We're going to have some seats. Maybe we can just use... Let's see what type of seats we can use here. Let's go with the passenger seat. Maybe we'll do something. We'll obviously raise this up by one. But uh, let's go and do that. Grab a passenger seat. And we're going to get some more seats in here just in case we have other people in the cab. And we will do some type of compartment here. So if we were to do a table like that, maybe a screen here or some type of thing that would go and rotate would be cool, I think. Uh, we could even do, we load this down to about that level. We'll have a rotating screen here that's going to go, theoretically, the screen would be like that and would go down. I don't know if it's going to interfere too much with, I guess we could push this back by one, like so. Yeah, that should work. We'll have a screen that will be there where I have those wedge blocks, something like that. Uh, then this compartment here, we could probably just it up like so we could even build this up more and maybe have some screens over here yeah that would look pretty cool i think yeah let's go with that for now leave those extra pieces 
uh in terms of we could maybe put something over here so like some type of panel over here could be an option too so we would just to build that up like so and maybe do a panel that goes all the way here and this could maybe have i don't know some equipment on it or i don't know just some other things really just for detailing purposes uh so that could be quite nice i might actually just move this back by one yeah that should be fine so panel over there we're going to have some lights in the ceiling so maybe over here on either side yeah let's do light on either side i'm also just keeping an eye on my cash uh, i don't want to spend too much on this train but i do want to spend enough that it's actually going to work and it's going to pull some people uh, we can put some extra seats maybe over here for passengers that are coming along for the ride that could be all even over there uh, let's go with one, two, one, two, something like that. Seats. Uh, we'll get a padded seat, I think. We'll probably do, I don't know if that's too high. I think that is too high. I feel like that's too low now. Uh, let's go back to where we were, and then we'll probably use some type of, like, microprocessor or something to just create... A seat back i don't really need those seats um and then we can obviously do some type of design for this so maybe something like that and we can change the back here if we wanted to so we could do i don't know something like that uh but we can play around with that to be fair i think it's looking pretty cool i'm going to do the window off of the video uh, just because it's going to be xml modding uh as i said i'm not too sure if i want to go up by one still like, I feel I should go up by one there just to make it look a little bit more cleaner. And we could delete that off, grab that, grab that, and grab that, and bring it back. And then maybe just enclose this section. What if we were to delete some of these blocks? That would give us a little more ceiling height in the train. I don't know, something like that. And then it's got like this little area here, and then over here we could raise it up like that and then close this in and we'll put some exhaust there maybe for the train uh that's what i got so far i think it looks pretty decent uh of course like this area here we could actually fill it in with some wedge pieces so we could do that and then maybe over here fill that in there and grab inverse pyramid and put it there could we push this further back yeah we could actually we go all the way there because that would then meet up with that which looks pretty cool nice okay so we got that in and then maybe i'll have some panels or something here some screens or something that would maybe rotate down and face the driver uh and then i was as i said like maybe some screens here that would rotate and face the driver too uh, but i don't want to go too far in terms of detailing just yet because obviously guys we are still thinking about um money <laughs> which is a big a big thing in survival mode so we're gonna go and just maybe round this out here like so uh, let's have a look and see what size we can do for engines so engine grab a big diesel large engine that's gonna it's only 200 guys these engines cost nothing uh, so i think it's a great way to use our cash uh, i'm gonna replace this pink with a nice dark gray so let's replace that and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get rid of the back part of the train now. Now that we've kind of done a lot of styling and things, I don't think we need to have the other side undone. So we're going to just go and cut it and delete it. And we're going to go to the front and grab the whole front piece of this train. So about uh, that much. And we're going to copy and rotate. If you are doing this, just remember one thing you need to do is go onto the train wheel and um just make sure you invert it so we're gonna go is that you think that's too long maybe that looks a little better yeah let's go with about that much length let's go and join those two together uh cool let's go and just invert this wheel because it is facing the wrong direction you can see there uh cool let's go and spawn that let's see what that's gonna look like yeah not too bad not too bad i don't think hopefully this is going to have enough power let's just go and push it forwards here and get it out of the area here let's have a proper look at it 
I might push that spot lock back by one. Yeah, but you kind of get the idea. But I kind of like how it's looking. It's definitely looking like a train. Uh, cool. So let's carry on with that. Let's go and have another look at these uh, diesel engines inside here because obviously they're not right just yet. Uh, let's go and delete all that off and fill this in over here. And how many of these do you think we're going to get in? I don't think we need three. I think two would be more than enough for us. I guess we could put three in. We have enough space for like batteries and things. I guess we could use small batteries. What's the price difference on batteries? So 10,000 versus 1,200. Hmm. We're going to use small batteries. Uh, so three big diesel engines should be more than enough to power this train uh, if we do a diesel electric setup. So remember, these engines are just going to be recharging. That's all they do. They won't do anything else. So I think that will be more than enough. Uh, let's look at doing the let's look at doing the drive system for this train. Now I think is probably going to be the best bet. So underneath here is we're going to have our batteries. So I'm not too sure how many I need yet. Um, so let's just go and put some batteries in. We can always change the number we have. Cool. So we've got our batteries in there. Let's go and spawn that in. Once again, just double check how that looks. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I don't think. Cost wise, how much is that setting us back? Uh, so we still got 130,000 we can play with. So obviously displays, uh, controls and things, but we need some gearboxes is another thing that we're going to need. So gearbox to come inside here maybe use the undercarriage let's go rotate that one there another one there probably should keep them in line so rotate rotate so three 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 gearboxes should be more than enough for this build and we're going to go up there and get this all filled in again so this is going to go up uh, and probably actually go up into here and that's when it's going to go all the way across into the wheels of these um, train pieces which is going to be quite nice so that's the train so far um, as I said I want to get a rotating display in here at some point so this could probably go like that and then we're going to have a display that's going to go there we're going to get like a one by two screen and maybe two one by one displays and maybe like a rotating display here uh that can that will start off maybe facing like that and then it's going to swivel and go across uh, so that could look pretty cool actually let's do that now why not um so it's pretty simple to do rotating displays we can do one on either side cool we're going to steal some of the battery from one of the batteries we have underneath for now, just for testing. Go over to the pivots. We're going to get a constant number. We're just going to put it in there for now. We're going to move it. I just want to change to 0 0.5. Do I need positive or negative? I will need positive on those. And actually, let's do 0 0.3. There we go. Try now. Let's see. That should have gone and rotated the displays. Uh, seat there we go so you can imagine sitting here and you'll have a display we can even rotate it quite more i think yeah it's quite a lot of spare space there and then we'll have another one that maybe will fold down in front of us or we just have some controls here to be fair yeah it looks pretty cool let's go and just rotate a little more let's do 0 0.5 is what i originally wanted to do let's try that let's see how much that rotates it jump into the seat yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So you have a nice little screen here. Uh, we need to check why it's deleted those. Maybe, oh, yeah, maybe I did that. Okay, so we might need to fix that. Yep, like that. Uh, go in there and literally just use some wedges. So let's do something like that. Yeah, that will be better. That means that we won't see that deleted piece, uh, which should make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, and then inside for the cabin, we're probably going to go with a nice grey inside the cabin too. I'm going to paint this while we're here. 
Maybe all that can be gray. Maybe this can be gray. Maybe that can be gray. Let's paint the other side because still have that bug here in Stormworks where it doesn't paint that side. Uh, and then we can obviously paint all of this at some point. And then we'll do the same with, should I bring this up by one? No, I think it's a good height. And paint all this too, like that. And while we're here, let's put some ladders over here for that will allow us to actually get up into the cab. Uh, two ladders will be fine. And if we really wanted to, we could put a handle here just in case that ladder is not gonna work, uh, but I think it would. Um, I was thinking about earlier is maybe moving this light back by one. It's an idea. Let's see how that might look if we were to do that. That looks nice. We can add some more detailing and stuff here if we wanted to. Um, cool. I think that's probably a good place to stop this episode off with. We've done quite a lot uh, with this train. I'm going to do the window part in in between episodes. So I'm just going to XML edit a window that will fit over there. And then I think in the next episode, we'll get all the electronics connected. We'll get the diesel engines running uh, and we'll put the microprocessors in here for the train. I've got obviously you guys, if you want, I've got all the NJ train stuff. So like a, a speed hold system, like a set speed system. It's also a auto generator system. So I've got a whole lot of microprocessors like tr uh, slave master systems. So we're going to be using those microprocessors, I think in the next episode. Um, but yeah, I think that is a good place to stop. Let me know what you think of the train. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions. I think it's pretty cool for a couple minutes worth of design. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. But you guys let me know what you think of the train. And then I uh, hope you enjoyed it and follow some maintaining and performance as always. And we'll see you in the next episode.